Happy New Year 2024. Today I will go over something that you may encounter after a Windows update, a driver update or an update to your hardware such as switching out a power supply. You may encounter an issue where your system suddenly reboots or shut down after an hour, 30 minutes, 2 hours etc without any warning. You may be working on something and then suddenly it shut it itself down. This may be caused by a change to default power configuration. And it could happen because of a Windows update or an update to a driver or you switch out a hardware such as a power supply or even a high powered uh, graphic card. There's a couple of ways to fix this and let's go over that. So first thing what we're gonna do is to use the run command. You can access run command through your start menu and typing run, R-U-N, or by simply pressing the Windows key and the R key and that will open up your run command. And in here, what we will try to do is to reset or restore your default power configuration. To do that, type power, P-O-W-E-R, C-F-G, dash, restore, default schemes, this one, so power cfg dash restore default uh, default uh, schemes and then you're going to click ok i will leave this information in the description of this video so you can just simply copy and paste it and click ok and it's going to do its thing uh, there are not going to be any warnings or anything like that uh, only thing you need to make sure however is that you are logged into the machine as the administrator of this account of this device so if you are not logged in as an administrator to your windows 11 machine this will not work again when you run the power command uh, the, that i showed you the power cfg it has to be run in the administrative privileges um, if you don't have administrative privileges on this machine when you click ok here you will get the windows warning to be logged into your uh, administrative account and once you do that you can run this command and it'll just give you like small pop-up that you saw in the window and it'll disappear after you do that what you need to do is you need to go to the start menu and restart your machine and or shut down your machine and then reboot back up and that will make sure that the changes that you made is good to go now even after doing that, if your Windows is keep rebooting every couple of minutes or a couple of hours, there's another run command that you can do. So um, that command would be to basically run our um, the Windows Power uh, Troubleshooter. You can just search up the Windows Power Troubleshooter or you can just simply uh, do the msdt.ext. Uh, uh, slash id power diagnostic again i will leave this in the description of this video and after typing this on the run command type ok click ok and it will open up the power troubleshoot uh, window in here the only thing you need to do is click next and it will run through uh, the process of detecting any issues that microsoft can find on your device now i know that a lot of people have experience with Microsoft troubleshooting tools they usually end up saying no changes or updates were necessary or nothing uh, detected however sometimes this is a really good tool it will detect issues with your power so just because of you had bad experience with some Microsoft troubleshooting tools don't dismiss them all you can go ahead and try it and it might actually pick up something again all you uh, do is go to the run command, type msdt.exe slash id power diagnostic, click OK. It'll give you this window, click next. It'll simply run the uh, tool and it might pick up uh, something. Now, if both of those things uh, did not work after reboot, after running those diagnostics tool, you, you should always reboot or restart your device and it's still uh, causing issues for you, still your device is automatically shutting down or forced 
rebooting your device out of nowhere there's one more thing you can do uh, you can go to the start menu uh, go to settings and on the settings uh, on, on here search uh, for the power options so if you go power if you just simply type power power it'll give you the power sleep and battery settings right here another way to get there is actually click on settings and then go to power like you know you can click on settings sorry systems and then you can find the power uh, option here and you can cl uh, click on that and it'll give you the option to change that power settings the screen sleep uh, screen and sleep that is the power settings and in here it'll tell you how long the device should be online when nothing is happening so maybe um, even though you detect that it is forced shutting down or forced rebooting it may be caused by because of this if you really don't have the need for this i would recommend putting this to pretty much never and then never for this so if you set these two to never what that will happen uh, will do is it'll make sure that your device will never go to sleep and never get uh, into a situation where when you are not doing anything that will just cut off uh, you know your you know system so those are the three things you can try uh, i have experienced this issue few times after a driver update on my uh, system as well as an update to the bios I simply update the BIOS of my machine and then suddenly it just, you know, start rebooting every couple of hours. Only thing I had to do in that situation is to simply run the run command, uh, the power uh, cfg uh, restore def uh, default schemes. And after rebooting my machine, it went back to normal. So, but it may not work for you. So that's why I gave you a couple of options. So something that you need to uh, look into if it is keep happening is to troubleshoot if every component that you have and if you have recently have updated any drivers on your device you may want to roll back one of those drivers uh, and see if that is the one causing the issue so again force reboots and restart may cause by windows updates uh, messing around with your uh, power configurations or it could be because of a hardware failure or you insert a new hardware and updated a driver that is causing incompatibility issues so if you change any of those things uh, you may want to roll back on like if you put a new hardware for example if you put a new network card and if you keep rebooting randomly force for shutting down etc you may want to pull that network card out and see if it's still doing that if you put an if you had a network card for a long time and you suddenly updated its driver and start doing it maybe you want to roll back the driver and see if it stopped doing uh, you know for free boots again if you have bios updates certainly you should be running the uh, i would highly recommend that you run the uh, this command uh, to re make sure that the bios updates somehow get into the windows and then mess something up usually bios updates doesn't do that but the problem with some of the bios updates is that most home users uh, update their bios using uh, software developed by companies like asus and intel that run on top of windows for example you'll have a software that is says something like intel motherboard or uh, you know uh, uh, asus hal for example right it not only give you the ability to change your um, you know uh, um, rgb led colors but you can also update your bios but the problem with that is it may be also changing some settings on your windows causing some issues later down the road because you're not just updating bios even though saying hey update bios now it might you know do other things with it so that's why this might be uh, and a good thing to run after a bios update because it will reset everything back to windows default if you have any questions or concerns regarding anything i covered uh, with respect to this troubleshooting methods uh, please get back to me by typing a comment on the video uh, itself or reaching out to me through my sanitary.com website. Until next time, thank you so much.